Hey, it's Josh Hewitt, and in this video I wanted to share some somewhat unfortunate news, although I'm trying to reframe it as a positive in my life. But just a few days ago, four days ago now, I tore my bicep tendon proximally at the shoulder attachment um, on my left arm. So you can sort of see here uh, where there's the gap, and it's exaggerated when I flex, the peak pops up. Um, so I don't really like to do that because it does hurt when I flex it, but you can see the disfigurement versus regular arm. And it's less swollen now, but I mean, it's apparently the gap is pretty obvious up here. And then the Popeye peak is a real indication that uh, it was the attachment at the shoulder joint. This will probably need surgery and I'm seeing the surgeon uh, just two days from now. So I'm looking forward to having more information then and I'm definitely going to update. Now it's kind of ironic because with my training I've been very careful with avoiding injuries. I train with a controlled tempo, I don't use more weight than I can control and I've been employing like lots of injury prevention techniques and this happened actually at an indoor playground uh, with my daughter. She really wanted me to join her at this place called X-Play with trampolines and uh, ropes to swing on and whatnot. And uh, I was swinging from one rope to the next like Tarzan. <laughs> Just before I let go grabbing onto the other one and uh, slipped. Uh, the rope had knots in it. And with my arm overhead, before I could get a good grip, I slipped missed the one knot and caught the other knot and yanked my arm back overhead and rotated at just just the right angle and before I could get my other hand onto the rope it popped and down I went and I thought because I heard my arm was up by my head I heard a loud pop and uh, this side and I thought something had hit my arm I thought someone had thrown a ball or something and hit my arm and uh, I I felt a bruise like it was all puffed up and I climbed out. I couldn't really use my arm that well because there was sharp pain and then nothing because when the tendon gets pulled off of the bone, I guess the nerve gets completely severed along with it. So you have that shot of pain and then just sort of a dull ache. Um, and then uh, I looked down and bent my arm and at the time it was particularly noticeable. It had bunched up into a ball and there's a big gap and just had that sinking feeling like, oh no, <laughs> this isn't good. But this changes my plans a little bit as far as uh, what I had intended to do going forward with uh, my videos and with my own personal programs and life and training and whatnot. But it is also an opportunity uh, to learn and grow a lot as well. And thankfully I'm not in a lot of pain unless I move it to certain positions. So either way, I'm, I'm hoping for a strong recovery and I'm going to share the process of this recovery with you as I go through it. So if there are people watching this who are dealing with upper extremity injuries, I'm going to share a lot of ideas and training tips as far as how to work around that, how to adjust your training program so that you can still stay in as good a shape as you can and still get a really good workout for at least lower extremity and core, what some benefits may be of training unilaterally one side of the body, even if you can't train the other, why there may be a carryover around that. And I'm going to talk about nutrition and ways to try to stay lean or other uh, directions or focuses that you can take your training and your approach to overall health and wellness while you're healing from this injury. I'm also going to get into some methods that I'm going to be specifically incorporating to heal more quickly and to overall to improve my health overall such as intermittent fasting which I've been using off and on I've talked about just recently fasting prolonged fasting even and I'll explain the reasons for that as well as intermittent fasting why um, autophagy or autophagy can, uh, as well as increase growth hormone production from fasting, can actually accelerate the healing process. I'm also going to talk about uh, cold showers, the benefits of that for reducing inflammation, improving circulation, uh, getting more sleep, obviously, for recovery, and some habits you can develop around that and that I'm going to be using for myself. And I'm going to be following a plant-based diet. This is something I was already planning on doing. I've been shifting my, the way I'm eating over time. Uh, strongly in favor of uh, intermittent fasting and higher 
uh, proportion of my food coming from plant-based sources. That doesn't mean I'm going to be going full vegan, um, <clears throat> but I'm definitely going to be focusing on getting more fruits and vegetables in my diet. And the bulk of my food, like 90%, 85%, 90% from plant-based sources, and how I'm going to be making sure I'm getting an ad adequate protein and my, all of the micronutrients that I need in the process, all of the amino acids, cover your B12, all of those things we'll talk about for nutrition and supplementation in the process and why that may also help to encourage the healing process with getting a, very, a lot of antioxidants in a very alkaline diet, reducing acidity, how these can help, all of these methods can help reduce inflammation. I'm also going to be focusing on meditation, daily meditation. I'm going to make it a part of my daily routine, starting and finishing the day with a meditation session. This will really help to frame my mindset positively, help me really be in the moment, sense into my body and encourage the healing process by helping to reduce stress hormone production and to help my body get into a more regenerative recuperative state. So this is going to be a big part of my journey as well. Yeah, I'm looking forward to actually this healing process. So I would not wish this sort of injury upon anyone, but I believe that every challenge that we're confronted with is also an opportunity for growth and learning. So we can either look for the problem uh, in every opportunity or we can look for the opportunity in every potential problem that comes up. And I've chosen to frame it that way. I'm going to share this journey with you as I come back to 100%. And I have no idea what is in store for me as far as surgery and whatnot. So I'll definitely share this whole process with you. And it should be a pretty interesting journey. So especially if you're dealing with an injury yourself, and this is something that you want some insight into how to recover, maybe some techniques and methods that you can use to heal more quickly. Uh, I'm going to be putting it all out there and I'll show you uh, what I'm doing in detailed videos over the next several weeks. Wish me luck, send me some healing energy and I'll look forward to connecting with you and sharing my journey along the way. Stay tuned, subscribe for more. If you have any questions or comments about this, post them down below and I will get back to you and until next time, stay strong.